three and a half years, my family has been victimized by you. We worship Yahweh and we do have human rights. You come searching our dwelling place for shallow graves and you found none. You come searching our dwelling place for illegal firearms and you found none. You come searching our dwelling place for scamming papers, scamming documents and illegal documents and you found none. Yet you continued to terrorize my home. You have broken into my home instead of asking to enter time and time again. My children have been traumatized by you. Yet you say you are here to help. You said you don't know our school. So how then would we receive correspondence from the ministry acknowledging us as a school? How is it that we have proof of GSAT passes recorded in your system? You said that our children are in need of care and protection. Look at what you have done to them before our very eyes. And yet you want us to trust you with them? You accuse us of improper care given to our children. Then why did you pepper spray our child? A woman behind the gate dragged the headpiece from off the girl as she hastens to put it back on. Look at it. What does her head garment have to do with abuse? Or is this outright religious discrimination? Is this a man with a child in his hand and an officer attacking while the child is in his hand. Do you notice another officer using pepper spray on the man while he's holding the child? Finally, violently flooring him, all this while with a child in his hand. Do you believe the situation could have been handled differently with a child involved? 